Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and my god, they are both yellow again. <laughs> this is the quarterfinals of the DreamHack Valencia, and up the top left side of the map, we do have a yellow Zerg player, Yu-Gi-Oh! And down the bottom right side of the map, we do have a yellow Zerg player, Ghostware. This is absolutely crazy. Um, all right, we're 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 gonna uh, we're gonna see if we can fix this. All right, so we're gonna change that there. We're gonna change that there. We're gonna change to UGO's viewpoint. We're going to change to Ghostware's viewpoint. We're gonna change to everyone. All right, we've lost this panel. And they're still yellow. I don't know. I don't know what we have to do to fix this. I think it's just built into the game like that. And yeah, there's not much we can do about it. So yeah, apologize about that panel. But if you're looking at the video link, you're probably thinking, all right, this is this is not a long game. So may, I, I don't think we have to worry about it too much. There we go. So anyway, looks like ghosts were actually going for a very, very early spawning pool there. This is definitely a 10 pool or a 9 pool or something crazy like that. So he's looking to end it nice and quickly. And Yu-Gi-Oh, meanwhile, is looking like he's going for an expansion before pool, a hatch before pool. Fairly standard, but it is going to be quite devastating in this ga Please tell me I said Yu-Gi-Oh was going for that and not Ghost Sweat. Please tell me I was talking about Yu-Gi-Oh there. I am not going to confuse these guys. I'm not going to. There we go, six lings coming out with another two on the way. Ghost Sweat pushing in as hard as he can, and Yu-Gi-Oh with the fast expansion is going to be in quite a lot of trouble. This is still Ghost Sweat's Overlord, so Yu-Gi-Oh coming down. Is he going to see these lings? Oh, he might. He might. Look at this, man. Look at all the workers coming out as well. He is sending everybody in there. He's still got a few, just enough to keep building the lings, but the rest of them are moving out. So this is basically an all-in push. And I do not think the UGO is prepared. His spawning pool is only about 60% done. These guys coming in. And the hatchery going down. And this is going to be absolutely devastating right here. Ghosts were just going absolutely nuts. This worker is like, oh crap. We are so screwed. And yes, there we go. He's not even going to have a chance to get a queen out, I don't think. He's just going to move in. He's, um, he's dancing around a little bit. Yuji's plan right now is just got to be keep his guys alive until you get the queen out. But he, with this many forces, I do not know if a queen can make any difference because he's going to keep streaming the lings in. Here we go, a nice bit of attack over there. Spine crawler coming down with two lings. He can keep it down low enough. There we go, it gets destroyed with just two lings. So that's interesting, actually. Two lings can... Uh, and um, my thingy bob on the edge is not actually working. It's Oh, there it, it was sort of working. I don't know. But anyway, the full screen isn't working. But there, look at all these lings, man. Oh my god, who has what lings? I'm really not sure. UGO only has two. Ghostware has managed to get up to 20 now, man. 20 lings. Considering how many workers he's got going, that's pretty freaking awesome. Man. Look at all these workers from UGO. And look at all these guys from Ghostware, man. It is completely awesome and completely confusing at the same time. But the drones are doing a good job at staying alive. But it's not going to happen forever. I mean, it's just not going to happen forever. He's not mining anything at all. You can see his mineral counter is not coming up. We don't need the income tab. We can see that right there. They're just playing Ring Around the Rosie with the Lings. And slowly but surely, they're all dying. And meanwhile, Ghoster is getting more reinforcements of those four Lings that he's four workers he's got mining. And these workers are not mining anything. So Yu-Gi-Oh! cannot do anything. He's dying a slow death. He's going to try and hold here, I think. He's got the workers, he's got the queens, he's got a nice position. But Ghost Web moving his workers through with the middle trick. He's going to flank these attacks. And the queen going down, and with that beautiful flank with the worker trick, clicking on the uh, minerals to move through everything else. And Ghost Web is going to take that battle down. And Yu-Gi-Oh is still on the back foot. And it was a nice move, but it's just not going to work. And there we go. He is going to... Uh, not even give the GG, man. He's just going to leave. He's absolutely disgusted at that play by Gosa. Going for the 10 Ling push. And just, it's not sportsman-like at all. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Maybe it is 
Sportsmanlike is a little is a little bit of a funny sort of word. I'm not going to say it's not sportsmanlike. I am going to say that Yujio probably doesn't think it's sportsmanlike because, yeah, he, he was not happy at all. I, I cannot think that it's a coincidence that he just forgot to say GG. I'm thinking he's pretty pissed off. So, but he is out of the tournament right now, man. And what a way to go out, man, getting Ling rushed. It's not good, but that's actually what he did against... Um, actually. It's hilarious. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh did against Daishi, man. He got one game up. Then he did an early Ling push to just catch Daishi off guard. So there we go, man. Calm as a bitch. And yes, so is Gosua right now taking Yu-Gi-Oh out. And he is going to be moving on versus Hyun in the semi-finals. So that is going to be friggin' awesome. Another awesome, awesome ZVZ. We're starting to see... Pretty much anything is possible in ZVZ. You can do any unit composition you want and try and make it work. Okay, um, maybe Mass Roach versus... Even Mass Roach versus Endgame Muta. You can try and make it work because you uh, you wipe out their base and all their workers before the Mutas can kill you. So it kind of works. Kind of <laughs> I've seen games where people win like that anyway. But yeah... Yeah, freaking awesome. Ghostwork, moving on, doing some good stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! out of the tournament. So, yes, we will check that out in uh, the semi-finals. But first, we've got a couple more corner finals to get through. And next up, it is Elfie versus Stardust. A PvP match in the quarter finals. That's going to be freaking awesome. And we know that Stardust is good at PvP because he already beat Huck in the round of 16. So, yes, very, very awesome. Very much looking forward to that. And yes, we'll see you guys soon. This has been Harry Muppet. Hope you enjoyed this game. Catch you guys later.